Hi, Troy Stetna here. In this lesson, we'll learn some basic speed building sequences for picking and legato in rock lead styles. Even if speed is not really your focus as a player, working on these exercises will improve the tone you produce with your hands, along with your ability to keep tempos and stay in the groove. You'll just get sloppy results if you try to play fast before you can play slowly, accurately, and with solid time. A metronome is the essential tool for keeping tempo steady while you develop accuracy and gradually work up your speed. Start running up and down a scale first. It helps you memorize it and builds technique and timing. Using alternate picking, we're going to practice scales in steady eighth notes, two notes per click of the metronome. And that is the speed. So, here's an A minor scale at 72 BPM. Be sure you're using alternate down and up strokes and your foot is tapping along with the metronome. Once you've achieved a basic familiarity with the scale or any exercise you may be working on, write down the tempo at which you could play it cleanly with the metronome. Start off slowly every day and inch that metronome up to the highest point you had it the day before, if possible. On some days, it may be a bit slower than before. That's normal. Near the end of your practice session, try moving it a notch higher just to see where the ceiling is but do not repeatedly attempt to play at a tempo beyond your reach, as this will only teach you bad habits like playing with too much tension in your hands, arms, or body. Stay relaxed and take your time building up your speed. I played the scale in eighth notes in a metronome setting a 72 for demonstration purposes. Now, I've been playing for a lot of years, and when I'm warmed up, I can usually play the scale pretty clean at 16th notes, maybe with a metronome set at 160 or higher. I'll show you that now, so you can hear it, but I don't want you to try to match my tempo today. It's just something to shoot for, or even faster. One, two, three, four. Sequences are melodic fragments moving through the scale. They're useful for building speed. So if we apply a group of four sequence to the A minor scale, we get these note groups. A, B, C, D. B, C, D, E. C, D, E, F, and so on. We can continue these groups until we reach the highest note in the scale pattern, in this case a C at the 8th fret of string 1. Then at this point we'll change directions and move down the scale with descending groups. Here it is in 8th notes at 72 beats per minute. Two, three, four. And here's how it sounds at a moderately fast speed, 120 in 16th notes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Nearly all rock guitarists use sequences from the minor pentatonic scale. We'll check one out with the A minor pentatonic scale in fifth position. With groups of three, we'll play all three notes within one beat, a triplet rhythm. Make sure your foot is tapping with the metronome as always, but now we're going to alternate pick three notes per click. So every other group will start with an upstroke. It'll go down, up, down, then up, down, up, and so on. 
you'll hear echoes of Jimmy Page, Zach Wilde, or just about any heavy rock player you can think of. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We can use legato techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides to assume part of the work done by the picking hand, which makes some phrases a bit faster than we could alternate pick them. Try to evenly space all notes in this rock lick based on the A Dorian mode, focusing on the spot where a hammer-on is followed by two pull-offs in a row in beats two and three. Again, practice slow and steady and keep your foot tapping along with the metronome. One, two, three, four. And now I'll play that same legato lick in 16ths at 132 beats per minute. Try to keep it even. One, two, three, four. You can also practice your scales and sequences using hammers and poles, picking only when a string comes into play for the first time for maximum efficiency. Here's how that'll sound applied to the A minor pentatonic group of three triplet sequence. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Remember to warm up slowly at the beginning of each practice session and stay relaxed. Each individual lick and exercise should start off slow and then be worked up to the previous highest tempo with the metronome. Only increase the tempo when you can play it with a minimum of mistakes at the previous tempo. Also, it's a good idea to practice with both a clean and distorted tone. Good luck, and remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs>